Welcome Taurus. Hey my lovely Taurus. This is Renee. Welcome back. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything, for the likes, subscribes. Um, and if you will, click, keep liking, keep hitting that thumbs up to increase my video population, please. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I appreciate you and I, I would love to have you as one of my soul people. Okay. Now, let's get into this. We're going to take a look at love, money, and everything else. Okay? So, we're going to get into it. Okay. For love, we have let go of control issues, Taurus. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Okay? So, I feel like you got to need to control the situation. Or if you're not already in a situation... Just let things flow. Let things happen naturally, right? Don't feel the need to force things, okay? And we have a new start is coming. Actually, Aries just got that same card in the same position. So, definitely some kind of new start in your money. New start in the money, okay? So, this is beautiful. I'm liking this. So if you have any Aries in your chart, Taurus, if you have any Aries, take a look at Aries reading. That may be very beneficial for you. Okay, only if you have it in your in your chart. You know, you don't have to. Okay, we have uh, Courage, Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. So there may be a need to defend your position right at the bottom we have spread your wings this is our also archangel ariel do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you are ready to soar so be be courageous you know there's something that you're supposed to be doing and now is the time to take advantage of that you know now is the time to put in the work okay so let's go ahead and get into this what do we have for aries we're going to get into the relationship side first if you're not already in a relationship this may be something that's coming forward if it resonates yes if it doesn't um don't take it in yeah okay Okay, so we have the Three of Wands. I feel like you're waiting for something. There's something that you're working on. Maybe you're already working on a relationship. Maybe you're already talking to someone online. Um, I feel like this person... Wow, I've got a lot of cards here. Um, let's see. We have Opportunities. Illusions. So this person may not be telling you everything. They may not be telling you the whole story. They may just be feeding you these lines to kind of get your attention. Okay. Um, but I feel like this person is willing to, you know, put in this work because there's something. Yeah, we, we have the Ace of Pentacles. There's something that's very stable. We have the uh, the lovers as well. So there's someone. This could be a soulmate situation. Um, this could be someone who's actually been watching you for a while. Been looking through the opportunities. And now they feel like you are the one. Look at this. Because we're going from the Seven of Cups to the Ace of Pentacles. So someone actually finds this situation very stable. Very valuable. Um... And they want this beginning with you. Okay. But it is someone who has been waiting. They've been thinking a lot about the situation with this three of wands. Seven of pentacles. They may have been putting in a lot of effort. To kind of come close to you. Kind of get your attention. Uh, because I feel like with the seven of cups energy. I feel like this can also be. You know like doing little things to kind of get you to spot what they're doing, right? Or
Yeah, it's like they're giving opportunities to accept. Very interesting. At the bottom we have the Magician and we also have the Ace of Wands in the world. So I definitely feel like this could very well be a new beginning. Something that's being created, manifested. Um, this person wants to create something. They want to create something bold and vibrant. You know, something fiery and passionate. Okay? And I, I feel like they, they, they want to see the world with you. Right? They see you as the world. They see you as ending a cycle and beginning something brand new. Okay? So that's really beautiful. And the Ten of Pentacles upside down. Okay, so and I feel like this person feels like they don't have everything that you desire. They feel like they can't give you everything. But I feel like, yeah, they're stuck in their head. Wow. But this person would fight for you. This person would definitely fight for you. They see you as a star. Wow. Okay. So let's get an outcome for Aries for this love situation. And then we'll move on. Let's get an outcome. Now come for Aries. Okay, the two of wands. Yeah. This two of wands, when it's in a relationship spread, I feel like this is like you and me against the world, right? Like you're looking out towards the future and seeing two of you together. And it's very interesting that, you know, we have the lovers here as well. If you look at this, yeah, it's like you and me against the world, right? You get it? Very interesting. But I feel like this person is making plans. Maybe even making plans to travel. We have the Nine of Cups and the Emperor. So this is Aries energy. And like I said, if you if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, take a look at that reading. Um... But I, it may be an Aries that's coming forward for you, Taurus. But I feel like this is happiness. This is joy. This is having everything that you need. The Emperor is very strong, very capable. Capable. I can't even speak. Very bold, very daring, very courageous, right? We have courage here. So and I feel like th this person may be a little above you. But they feel like, maybe they feel like you're the emperor, Taurus. They see you as the emperor. Maybe that's the reason why they felt like they were the ten of pentacles upside down. They were ten of pentacles in reverse because they feel like you are so above them. That makes more sense. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, but the, this person sees you as beautiful energy, Taurus, right? Okay, so let's take a look at your money. Let's take a look at your money. What's going on with Taurus's money? I'm really trying not to make these videos go very long. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands, the Hierophants. Wow, okay. And the high priestess. Okay. So. As far as your money is going. I feel like you know. There may be a new beginning for you. But I feel like you're in this studying phase. You're kind of taking action. But I feel like you're going in the opposite direction at the moment. Right. You really don't have a set direction. That you're going on when it comes to your finances. You're still trying to figure things out. Okay, you may be doing the research, you may be learning something, you may be still in school for a career, but I feel like there's things that you're doing to gain that knowledge. 
And then after you gain that knowledge, then you're going to take the action in the right direction. Because I feel like you're going the opposite direction right now. You know, you're taking action. You're not sitting still. But um, I, I feel like you're like going the opposite way. Right? So it there may be there may be a time when you need to change course. Okay? And I feel like following your intuition and also going by what you're learning is going to point you in the right direction of your finances. Okay? We don't have any pinnacles here, so hmm. Okay, we have the king of swords. And the Two of Cups. The Queen of Wands. Okay, so the King of Swords, Queen of Wands, Two of Cups. As far as finances are concerned, I feel like, you know, this could be a situation that you're partner, partnering up with. It could be someone that's becoming your mentor. Right. Or it could be some kind of situation to where you have a relationship at work. Uh, you could be having this relationship at work with this King of Swords energy and you're taking on the Queen of Wands energy. So you're you feel like this King of Swords has a lot more wisdom, a lot more power. Um, they know how to get through a situation. So it could be the reason why you're looking to partner up with this King of Swords energy. It could be a mentor. It could be someone above you at work. Um, or it could be someone that you're just asking advice for because you feel like they're, they're much wiser. Or they have a lot of knowledge about your situation. But I feel like once you gain this, this insight, then you're able to take action. You're able to go after what you want. You know, and I feel like this partnership, tell me about this partnership, matter of fact. Tell me about this partnership. Oh, the world, the magician. Okay, so yeah, you feel like there's someone who can help you gain the ground that you need, right? There's someone who can help you get to where you want to go, you know, with the Ten of Cups. So I feel like, you know, there's a lot of lessons here that you feel like this person can teach you that is going to bring you into this new cycle to manifest, to create, to bring forward, right? And I, I feel like it's bring it that is what will bring the abundance. That's what will bring the um the money, right? With this Ten of Cups energy. So I'm, wow. Yeah, this partnership that you're thinking about, this mentor is what's going to take you forward. Someone giving you very good advice. Okay, so it could be an investor. It could be investments that you're working on. It could be a job, a job promotion. Maybe you're seeking a new career. And you know someone in the company who is able to give you the insight, who will help you get a foot in the door, right? Um, but I feel like, yeah, that's where this new start is coming. Once you have found this mentor and created this partnership, that's when it starts flowing. Okay? That's when the, because there's no, there's really no pinnacles here except for in the world and the magician. Right. So I feel like now is the time to do the thinking, do the thought and take action and then things will be created. OK, so let's take a look at everything else. OK, we have the hermits. So you may be going into a hermit mode, soul searching, finding wisdom. The will of fortune. Wow. Lots of major arcanas in this reading. Okay, so I feel like things are going really good for you. You also have the Ten of Wands. So Ten of Wands, I feel like you are, you're at a turning point, Taurus, but I feel like you have a lot of priorities. You're putting a lot of things first. You know, you're still in this Emperor energy. Okay, so... 
I feel like you're being very bold and courageous. That's the reason why the angels brought out that card, being, you know, having courage. You know, but you may be at the point where you want to go it alone for a while. You know, going into that hermit mode, um, doing things for yourself because of these changes. There's, there's, the wheel is turning, right? This is good fortune, good luck changes coming good things coming your way but i feel like there's a lot of priorities there's a lot of things that you're juggling but you're still capable of doing that because you're in this emperor energy okay so you are able to manifest this you are able to hold everything together and take the right path you know take the higher road have patience okay finding your balance we also have the King of Cups energy, so I really feel like you're foc you could be focusing on, you know, what the things that you love, the things that make you happy, um, the things where you feel the most supported, right? Um, this could be family, this could be your children, if you have children, you know, your friends, your friend zone. So I feel like, you know, you are totally in your power now we do have the sun upside down but the sun is a good card regardless so it doesn't matter if it's upside down or not because there's still happiness here there's still abundance right we do have the six of swords in reverse so i feel like you may not be initially moving there may be some kind of chaos that you're still in you know you're not quite moving to calmer waters just yet but I feel like you know that. I feel like you're trying to gain understanding. Um, you're trying to see things from different point of views, I believe. Right? So let's get a little bit of clarity for Taurus. Let's get a little bit of clarity for Taurus, please. Tell me more about this. Why is Taurus in Hermit mode? Give me a message. Why is Taurus in Hermit mode? Okay, the Page of Cups. You're thinking about offers. Okay, injustice. Okay, so at the bottom we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so Taurus, this is the reason why I feel like you're in Hermit mode because you haven't received the offers that you find as valuable. Okay. We have the Page of Cups and the Three of Cups. Okay, so this is the social card. This is community. This is being social. This is being out with your soul tribe, hanging out with your friends. And we have the Page of Cups. So I feel like you're, you're in this hermit mode because you haven't received the valuable offers. But I feel like those offers are coming in because you have the Justice card. So I, I feel like, you know, those offers to go out just haven't come in yet. So and once those offers come out, then you're going to get out of that hermit mode. You're going to be more surrounded by people. Take advantage of the opportunity to socialize. There is something that is going your way. Um, so I feel like this is you wanting to do the right thing. Um, there may be a situation that you're in to where you have to like bring down, <laughs> bring down your sword for justice, right? Um, stand up for what you believe in. But for the most part, I feel like, you know, you're doing the right thing. Things are, are really turning out well for you, right? There's a lot of work that you need to do. There's a lot of things that you need to pursue. There is an offer here. Someone that you don't really expect is going to give you some kind of offer. And it could be to socialize. It could be to ask you out. So, um, but for the most part, I feel like that you're okay being independent. That you feel very confident and secure in your own skin. You know, you you like your own company, right? And this could also be abundance coming in. Uh, some kind of increase, harvest. 
But I feel like you're setting your priorities. You're in like this balance mode right now, right, Taurus? You're in like this. I have so many priorities. There's so many things that I need to get done. I'm focusing on what's important to me. Friends, family, and socializing can wait, you know? Um, so, yeah, do you, Taurus. So let's get some angel cards. Let's get some angel cards for Taurus. Okay, we have divine order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Yeah, that's a justice energy, right? And that's exactly what I was saying, that you're doing what makes you feel right. You're doing what makes you feel good, you know? So that's beautiful. Okay, two more wanted to come out. So we have care and compassion. Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. Okay. And we also have uh, forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So you have godly protection. And Jesus is watching over you, Taurus. Right? So... Okay, let's go ahead and get your angel number. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. What is Taurus's angel number, please? Ooh, balance. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm really feeling that vibe, Taurus. Two, two, two. Now is the time to take inventory of your feelings. There are, are there any feelings of imbalance or resistance? Divine whispers are here to remind you that the alignment that you seek also seeks you. So breathe, rest, and reset. Okay? Your affirmation, what feels peaceful and calm, easily finds me as I restore the balance within me. Okay, let me read that one more time. What feels peaceful and calm easily finds me as I restore the balance within me. Okay? So that is your affirmation. Sit that over there. We don't want to cover up Jesus. Okay. So, Taurus, this is your reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. And if it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Like I said, it's very similar to the Aries reading. So if you want to take a look at Aries, go ahead and do that. Um, if it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. They could be resonating with you more. Okay. So my beautiful Taurus, many blessings to you. Love and beautiful light.